All right. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. All right. So this was last week, week 29, March 22nd to the 26th. Um, last Tuesday, you had six hours to make up work, right? That was last week plus this week. So this week, it's uh, down to three hours, right? So we have three hours um, to make up any missing assignments before spring break. Um, so these are all the assignments that I have given you for code or Z. Some of you have pretty much finished it. Others of you are missing here and there. So you have these three hours of this week. So I see you for three hours each week, an hour and 10 minutes today, 40 minutes tomorrow, and another hour and 10 minutes on Friday, which is a total of three hours per week. So we only see each other for three total hours. Um, I did add one assignment this week, um, but it's not due until April 21st. So if you are done with Coder Z and you don't want extra credit for Coder Z, then here's your assignment. It is due April 21st. I'm introducing it now, but it's not due until April 21st. I already had one student submit their work last week, which is pretty cool. So open house is April 22nd. This is a time in which you get to share the amazing things you have done in your classes. For STEM, I would like you to showcase what you are most proud of, of what you did in class this year. I'm gonna rewrite that. Using one Google slide. If you need more, I'm okay with that. This time around, take screenshots of assignments that you are proud of. Upload pictures, upload videos. Make sure you include your name on your slide. Upload and share the slide one, with me once you are done. Here is the one I made for Avid showcasing a very small part of what we have been doing. So this is the slide that um, I did for Avid. I kind of screenshotted some of your work, some of your uh, roller coaster slides um, and you know, coder Z stuff like that. So like I was, I was asked like, okay, what are you guys doing in STEM? And then, so I did, I, you know, took pictures, screenshots, right? So this is my example. So you go into what you've turned in, it's all on canvas or on your camera roll. And you screenshot things that you're proud of that you would show like, this is what I did for STEM. So that's what is going to be due April 21st. I, if you look back, in your uh, courses, you still have access to what you guys did first semester. It's just hidden. Uh, but if you go to your courses here and you go to all courses here, you should be able to find your course from last year. It might be buried, depends on how many courses you've been registered. Uh, you see design and modeling. So and you go off by the year, I mean, each year, they do register you to Canvas, but you've never accessed Canvas until this year. So you might be surprised to see um, how many courses you actually are enrolled in or have been enrolled in. If you go to this term of 2020, 2021, I think you should be able to find the design class if you wanna take stuff from the design class. So again, your assignment due April 21st, which seems like far, far away from today is to go through your assignments for STEM and screenshot what you're most proud of. What would you showcase? Um, because open house is showcasing what you have done. So, I mean, if I do one, I'm only gonna, you know, grab a couple of assignments and maybe not from every student, right? So it's not fair for me to do it because I would, I would only have room to choose like a couple of assignments from a couple of students, right? So this is your opportunity to showcase you're more, most proud of. So you'll have your very own slide with your work. And that's what I'm going to show for open house. I'm not going to be talking. I'm not going to be like, this is what we did. It's like, okay, here's the slide. This is what your son or daughter is showcasing that he or she is most proud of on the slide. What are you most proud of in this class? Okay. So that's your assignment. It is due April 21st, one day before open house. Um, and that's what I'll be showcasing. Okay, are there any questions about that?
All right, so you guys have three hours, three hours to catch up on any uh, coder Z that you're still missing. Um, I graded, if you turned in anything this morning or before, I finished grading it, so your grades are updated. Um, if you turn in stuff during the class, I will grade it as I, as I come in. So no new assignments for this week. I'm asking you just to complete, go back and finish any of the coders Z that you're missing. Any assignments that you do beyond those assignments that I've assigned you, it will become extra credit. I will create an assignment where you upload pictures of all the extra missions that you have done all in like one assignment. And then I just grade it like, like that. So I'm going to give you today, Wednesday and Friday to just catch up. If you are in the ro uh, roller coaster competition, the, I'm sorry, the coder Z competition that ends tomorrow. So you have basically, you know, 24 hours ish more a 30, uh, yeah, 30 hours to see how many missions you can complete because the competition ends tomorrow. All right. Are there any questions that I can help you with answer, clarify right now? Um,